Welcome back all the fans and followers of Space Fiction. Do you think the moon landing was a big event? Or that the big event will be when we land on the moon again after more than 50 years? No, a really big event will be the first moon Olympic Games. And in this video we will talk about what it would look like. First of all, we must realize that the Olympic Games cannot take place in the vacuum of the outer space on the surface of the Moon. The International Olympic Committee would never allow sports on a place or with equipment that could endanger an athlete's life. Almost all sports will therefore have to take place in a large closed stadium or sports hall. To build such a large building on the moon can be a problem, as the atmosphere inside will push all the walls with the force of one atmosphere. It is a pressure of a load weighing 10 tons per one square meter. However, if this stadium was located approximately 41 meters below the lunar surface, then the weight of the lunar rocks above the ceiling of the room will be in complete balance with the pressure inside. And let's not forget about the fact that oxygen is very precious on the moon, so definitely forget about the Olympic flame. It would have to be replaced by some other symbolic medium. So now that we have a stadium ready for the Olympic Games, let's talk about sports that could be held on the moon. There is six times less gravity on the moon than on Earth. With such gravity, water behaves differently than we are used to. The lower the gravity, the bigger the waves are on the water surface, the movement of which is slower and it takes much longer for the water surface to calm down. So no water sports would be possible on the moon. So you have to forget about swimming, diving, water polo and even artistic swimming. Canoe, kayak, rowing, sailing and surfing races would also not be possible. Triathlon and pentathlon would either not take place because of swimming, or swimming would have to be replaced by some other discipline. We wouldn't also see any equestrian disciplines, road and mountain biking and motorcycle racing on the moon. Due to the high risk of injury, no winter sports on ice and snow could be held here either. Low gravity and a slippery surface just don't go together. The only winter sport that could be played on the moon is curling. However, players will have to slide stones toward a target area at a much slower speed. Sports that would not be greatly affected by lunar gravity would be archery and shooting from all types of weapons. Just flying targets would fall much further and the wall behind the target would have to be bulletproof, for example made of concrete. And one more sport. Although petang has never been an Olympic sport, its game would look very similar to that played on Earth. The following sports would be slightly or significantly different on the moon. Sports such as wrestling, boxing, judo, taekwondo and karate could also be held here. However, athletes would have much worse stability than on Earth and probably more acrobatic elements would be added to their combat movements. The boxing ring would probably also need to be fenced all the way around so that the fighters don't fly around the room. Next, we have a group of sports that would not require any major changes, but the results achieved would be very different. In gymnastics, there would definitely be a big expansion with various acrobatic elements. However, trampoline jumps would have to be dropped from gymnastics because they would be very dangerous. An athlete could jump up to height of 30 meters and then very easily land outside the trampoline, which again would mean a lot of injuries. You have to remember that you will jump higher with lower gravity, but the impact speed will be exactly the same as when jumping on Earth. In fencing, athletes would probably have to use Velcro shoes. A fencer needs to have high stability and speed. Weightlifting would be very interesting. The best athletes could lift up to 1,500 kilos above their heads. 
that's the weight of a car. Climbing would be probably very easy, so I assumed that the athletes would have to carry an additional load. Sports like handball and rugby would probably be the most fun. With the same field and the same rules, we would probably see a lot of sports team members flying through the air. And theoretically, field hockey would still be playable on the moon. However, it would probably be a bit slower. In lower gravity, the resistance of the floor is much lower and thus you cannot run as fast. Then we have sports that could be played, but the parameters of the field on which they take place would have to be changed. Basketball would definitely excel in this regard. The basket could be mounted up to 9 meters high and it would probably be good if it was a bit bigger so that the players could score from a greater distance. Volleyball and badminton would have to be played on a bigger field or the net would have to be much higher than on earth. For football they would have to stop playing outs and corners because the ball would move much more through the air than on the ground. Likewise, baseball would probably have to be played in a closed, possibly glass room. For a home run, there would have to be a boundary or a part of the wall that when one team hits, counts as a home run. A batted ball would hit the wall almost every time. And that wouldn't be fun anymore. Tennis and table tennis would need a much larger field and would probably be only played in multi-member teams to be able to cover the entire area. Quick movement of players will not be possible here either. And the only bicycle discipline that could take place on the moon is truck cycling. However, the velodrome would have to have a much more inclined truck in the turns, smoother transitions from the turn to the straight truck and maybe it would have to be longer overall. And of course we must not forget about the queen of all sports, athletics. And here we have to prepare ourselves for very interesting sports performances. Running disciplines would be much slower than on earth due to the weak pressure of the shoes on the track. Hurdle runs and steeplechase could use hurdles up to 6 meters high. A walking race would also be extremely slow. The best high jumps could go beyond the limit of 15 meters and when jumping with the ball up to 37 meters of height. However, the landing pad would also have to be enlarged for safety reasons. When jumping, it would probably be necessary to use special shoes with velcro so that the athletes are able to achieve sufficient speed. But the takeoff place should no longer have a velcro so that it does not prevent a quick and strong takeoff. In this way, it would be possible to reach a distance of up to 53 meters in the long jump and up to 108 meters in the triple jump. The discipline of standing long and high jump would probably become interesting again on the moon. The best ones could overcome a distance of up to 22 meters and a height of 11 meters. However, athletes would achieve the greatest distances in the following disciplines. Shot put up to 138 meters, discus throw 444 meters, hammer throw 516 meters and the javelin throw up to a distance of 588 meters. And that is quite a distance. It would also be possible to win a medal in a decathlon under the same rules as on earth. And we have two sports that could be the only ones that could take place on the open lunar surface. Alan Shepard from the Apollo 14 mission has already shown us that golf is a suitable sport for the lunar surface as well. And John Young from the Apollo 16 mission showed us that fast car races are not afraid of the lunar surface either. However, cabins in these vehicles must not be pressurized and would have to be more like buggies than the rally cars we know. And finally, we must not forget that lower gravity will certainly bring many new sports. You could compete, for example, in the high jump from a handstand. 
or in a long jump on a target, of course without touching its borders. For example, football would be very interesting if the ball was not allowed to touch the ground. And the ball could also be played in such a way that the player can only hold the ball while he is in the air and must throw it before he touches the ground. Or a handball between two teams on the halves of the field while the goal net would be at some height and the players would have to jump to defend it and catch the ball. Can you think of any other sports that could be played at the first Olympic Games on the moon? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to become part of the world of space fiction and help me create interesting videos more often, click like and subscribe and if you want also to see some special content I am creating, you can support me on Patreon by clicking on the link in the description. Thank you for watching and the next time I fly by the Earth, I will send you another new video from the world of space fiction.